everyone, Mom 101 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use dryer sheets and hopefully the ways you haven't thought of. And none of them are by using them in the dryer. So please stick to the end of the video and let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite. And if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to see any of my new content. Now let's get right to the video. First up, I want to show you how to use a used dryer sheet to shine your chrome. Get the dryer sheet a little wet, which I did prior recording, and scrub up your chrome. Apply a little bit of pressure in areas where there's soap scum, water, or mineral marks. Once you have everything pretty well scrubbed, then wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and look at that shine. It makes the chrome have a mirror-like finish. This next hack might just be my favorite. Have you ever gotten dressed and then looked in the mirror only to find out you have deodorant down your shirt? Please tell me I'm not the only one that's done this. Brett no longer. Take a brand new dryer sheet and rub it on the deodorant to make your shirt look as clean as it was before you put it on. If it does not seem to be working efficient, make sure you have a brand new area of the dryer sheet you're working with and rub that deodorant right off. It's going to amaze you by how incredible this works. I bet you wish you knew this sooner. In case it's still giving you trouble to remove the deodorant, try taking your shirt off and then getting the deodorant off. I found this way works the best. Do you have an animal that likes that certain spot on your couch? Do they ever shed and leave all of that hair behind? Try a dryer sheet. Dryer sheets are good at picking up the hair without it flying through the air. How about that stubborn dust and hair that meets at your carpet and baseboard? My vacuum just doesn't seem to get the job done quite like physically rubbing it off with a dryer sheet. The dryer sheet is abrasive enough to lift the dust up, but obviously not too abrasive to tear up your carpet. Since we are talking about dust, take a look at how amazing a dryer sheet will get dust off of your blinds. Even if you're doing a quick dust, the dryer sheet's going to pick up so much. How about those clothes that are sitting in drawers losing their freshness? Take a dryer sheet or a few dryer sheets and put them through your drawers, over your clothes, under your clothes, wherever. Next time you open the drawer and get out your clothes, you'll have all that freshness. I think everyone has a pair of shoes that they love wearing, but they always have that strange smell or odor to them. Worry no more. Tuck some dryer sheets in your shoes, and the dryer sheet will absorb some of that funk while leaving behind the freshness. Do you ever have a big, bad hair day where your hair is full of static and so much unwanted volume? I find it especially common when I'm wearing a nice, comfy hoodie. This got me to thinking. If a dryer sheet removes static in the dryer, it'll probably work on my hair, right? Yes, indeed, it does. Separate your hair like you're going to put it in a ponytail and then take a brand new dryer sheet and rub it all over your staticky hair. And just like that, the static is gone. Do you have any stiff, hard paintbrushes where the bristles are nearly useless because maybe you forgot to wash them out quick enough or the paint dried before you could clean them good? Worry no more. Take a glass jar, stick a dryer sheet in the bottom of the jar, fill it with hot water, and then let the paintbrushes soak until however necessary to revive their softness. This will get that hard stubborn paint out of your bristles so you don't have to throw the paintbrushes away. And for the last and final dryer sheet hack, grab your hairbrush that you cannot seem to get completely clean behind the bristles and let it soak in a bowl of warm water with a dryer sheet. It doesn't take long, only about 15 minutes and all that mysterious stuff will come right off. If it does give you any trouble, or for a deeper clean, take an old toothbrush and scrub your hairbrush. Then let it dry and your hairbrush will be like new. No. 